Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigwell here, welcome back to our video, so here we have the League of Arcane and we got um, Harley over here with uh, level 9 Thermal Gloves we got EPI over here with level 9 Crown and we got Classic Wonderman here with level 10 um, North Snow Globe actually let me see how many materials I need for this uh, we're not quite there but we'll get there soon enough I would be there if I wouldn't have upgraded the um, a bad artifact that I dropped, but yeah, we're gonna deal damage with DPI and she's got a lot of things going for her. She's gonna have damage from Crown, she's gonna have damage against stun target from EPI, and she's gonna have great damage from Wonder Woman, she's gonna have lethal damage from her passive. There's just so many things that are going to do their best to increase that dot value. Only problem will be power generation in this fight, which I hope we're gonna be able to fix with Crown. By the way, the stacks that you saw on Harley are from the Terramar Gloves. We're gonna get increased damage against the burning targets on our basics, which is not great. Uh, I should have probably waited for her super move. Okay, she's probably gonna do it now. Okay, do it. Oh yeah, there was no need to tag out there. My bad. Oh, it's okay, we power generated a bit. Please give me a power refund. Oh, that's wonderful. Another one, let's go. Yeah, those really help, especially in the first minute of the fight. It's later we're gonna do a lot better with power generation, but this is where I want them. In the last minute, don't give them, don't give them to me, I don't care. But yeah, this is beautiful. Though it's what you would kind of expect out the level uh, Nine crown, but yeah, we got actually very lucky with the power refunds here. Bro, stop at this point! Stop giving me so many power refunds, man. Okay, there we go. It, it stopped. I'm going to chop this a bit, and our third special power refund, nice. And another one. And she's dead. Bro, Crown got very many power refunds in this fight. It's like trying to make up for all the fights where it failed me. But we, we got so many of them. Okay, so Beast Boy's got only one job here. Because uh, she stuns me on tagging, so I'm not going to tag in and out. He, he just needs to survive until he gets enough... Uh, Energy for a special one, which shouldn't be too hard to do, I, I hope. Mom, buddy, we can do it. Just four power bars, there we go, and you get one. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. Oh, my bad. Yeah, he's fine. Spam this a few times to get a few negative effects in there. Now let's super move. Bro, almost 40 kids from one single combo, that's awesome. Again, now we're just gonna chill at 50 hits. And just spin her in the corner for the rest of the fight. We're not gonna allow her to do super move. Again, kind of depends on your game and on your lag, because I've heard a lot of people being like, how are you able to not get super move when you use Beast Boy? Well, I'm not doing anything here. Like, there's some situations where there's some stuff that you guys overlook, like Ghost Tap in the comments, when you ask me how am I doing that, but you're unable to do it. But here, there's no trick. Your game might be lagging to the point where EPI can squeeze a super move. Uh, while you're doing this. But yeah, this was fast. Let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. Okay, so we got uh, armor super and all blades. That's garbage. Okay, so another good news that uh, this already brings is that Mortal Kombat team still does two billion damage. We just need to change a few things up, like in uh, the uh, Dark Knight Soul Raids, you just go with the normal setup, 
here we go with the get scorpion killed setup because um, Norris Noglob also gives me passive stats. So if you don't know about the strategy, if you have a clone in there and use a third special and then you tag out the clone while the enemy is sitting on the third special, you're going to get permanent dot damage for the raid and for the rest of the fight without tagging scorpion in. And I like both strategies. This is just the um, more convenient one for this soul raid and the one that gives me passive stats. And like if none of those two strategies gives me passive stats, it depends on how easy I can combo and drop the enemy. Because obviously since we don't tag Scorpion in anymore, we can't need to combo and drop the enemy. I should maybe block those special ones, because by the time the clone gets tagged then I'm not going to have enough uh, for a third special. Okay. Going to take some time to kill me actually, because we got a lot of passive stats here. Special one incoming, block that, okay. Kinda sucks that they have to block the special one, that actually adds a lot of time to how much I take to die. Come on. Bro. Okay. Okay, that should have worked. Yeah, that worked. Now we're gonna have dot damage for the rest of the fight without having to tag in Scorpion. But just remember, the enemy needs to be um, on the hazard as the clone gets tagged out or it's it's not gonna work. And you actually deal a lot of damage considering that you need to sit with Raiden the entire fight and you don't waste time tagging against Scorpion. I mean, he does a bit of damage himself, he does quite a fair bit with the dots that he does, with the weak spots and with the hazard a little bit, but you are so much better off just staying in with Raiden and constantly dealing League of Arky worth the uh, levels of damage. Obviously, it's far less interactive than tagging Scorpion in and out, but if they did that right and made the enemy not jump out of hazards, I would not have any complaints about that one, but sadly, that's not the reality we live in, so this ends up being so much more convenient. Because over here, if something goes wrong, my bad, I mess up the combo interruption. Not like, my bad, the enemy randomly jumped out of my hazard. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Okay, so here we have um, Green Lantern, Green Lantern Robin, King. Robin King and Batman the Drowned. The biggest problem here is getting that Green Lantern killed. Because, wait, 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 is this Chaos Tagging? Oh, he's not Chaos Tagging. Yeah, we're gonna have an easy time here, boys. Yeah, never mind, we don't need to get anybody killed. We're gonna have a good time here. Bro, like so many Grod bosses are Chaos Tagging that I just assume at this point when I see when I see a Grod that's somewhat in the uh, second, third or fourth tier. I'm a bit suspicious of him, but thankfully we can tag in and out here. A special one so we can get some crits in there. And I managed to combo and chop his ass, and let's spam third special now. Oh, he blocked that. We have, uh, we should have a bit more percentage. Yeah, that was the last one. I think. Oh boy, oh boy. I messed up, I wanted to use Batman John's super move, but I somehow tagged in John and used the uh, super move on him. Don't ask how that came to happen, because I have no idea how you could possibly mistake it in that way. And yeah, I tagged in John now. Yeah, I guess we're playing this one bad. Thankfully, I'm playing Batman the John Robin King, so it doesn't really matter too much. A super move there. 
I'm surprised I didn't lose the infinite power at any moment considering how bad I played this. Okay, one last activation, I think. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to the next fight. Basically, you have Lord Joker with puppets. And Ninja Batman with Bait Club, haven't used that in a while, might as well give him a go. And Robin with um, North Snow Globe. Like, Lord Joker is not helping me with much here in terms of passives, but he's able to spam pep, pop it real fast. And he's gonna also deal some damage doing it because we got Robin in here. That's everything that's going on. A very cool thing is that we're stealing uh, power on Beta Club crits. Or are we? Are we not doing that anymore? Bro, why is that not working? I'm pretty sure it was a thing at some point. Oh, it kind of is. Kind of is sometimes. Yeah, it is. Because we're stealing power right now and he's not even tagged in. Let's make sure we keep infinite power here. As well, super move. Keep pushing him to the corner, we're dealing a nice 36 mil per second, that's insanely good. Oh, 69 mil, let's go. That's the best possible number, I think it was 69, 420. Yeah, 69, 9, nah, it's 940. Close enough. Yeah, absolutely insane damage from a boy Batman. That's bro, that crazy damage is doing wonders for him with Beta Club. I'm not using him too often like this because you guys don't really like Beta Club too much. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna squeeze in one of those fights from time to time because it's crazy fun to use this team. But yeah, let's move on to the last fight. Okay, so here you have Raven with uh, North Snow Globe. We got Constantine with Joker as pet ranks, and we have um, Swamp Thing with Thermal Gloves. Uh, this guy is gonna freeze me unless I burn him. Once I burn him, he's no longer gonna freeze me as long as he's burning. I could put Thermal Gloves on Raven for that purpose, but we don't need to because Constantine is gonna burn him easily enough. We just do a special, and now he's got um, the Hell Mark. Oh, I have Joker as Betrangs. Oh boy, when I was thinking about this team, I was thinking about Twin Blades. Is that honestly, when you're using Raven plus Constantine, that seems even a bit better. But yeah, Joker as Betrangs should probably also do the job. The outside is for lagging a bit, but it shouldn't matter for Constantine because he's got that Swamping Shield. Okay, five darkness stacks. Yeah, it's a bit annoying that we're gonna need to use a special to trigger Joker's Betrangs. Yeah, we have so much prepared Twin Blade here. Okay, tank that super move, you're gonna be fine. Tag out again, because we need Raven to reset darkness, so we got him in the corner. But yeah, Constantine's slow start really sucks with Joker as Betrings equipped. We're barely dealing any damage here. And it will get better, but I'm not sure if it will get better soon enough. Come on, buddy. Cause this is not looking good at all, man. 
This is not looking promising one bit so far. I mean, I could have played this a bit better, I guess. But yeah, my bad with Joker as better because I really want to use Twin Blade. Now, yeah, now we're starting to deal three goddamn decent amounts of damage, but it's kind of late. Kind of real late into the fight. Probably messed around too much at the start as well. No, bro, I don't have time to get frozen in you to block while I'm frozen. Like, I really don't have time for that. Whatever. Yeah, this, this, my bad. From artifact equipment to probably gameplay too, we could have killed this man. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Goodbye!